Hey, this is Gene. I want to say thank you for all the people that viewed my last video. It wasn't, you know, a way to, to get clicks. I've been on this uh, platform for a long time, and I just went over 400 subscribers. I, I was, I'm not trying to make any money out of this. I, normally what I talk about in this, on this channel is about men's issues or how the world is going because I'm an older guy and I like to impart my wisdom, wisdom on people when I can. Uh, but I started this whole thing after I had my stroke a long time ago, about, it's been 13 years. Uh, I started um, to do it to, to be able to speech, speak well. I'm not 100% back, I'll never will be. Um, so when I'm talking, sometimes you'll notice there'll be little stutters or I'm looking for words. It's always going to be there, um, but a lot better when it, when it first happened to me. But I just want to talk about this today. Again, thank you for all the people who have actually subscribed to my channel. Um, hopefully you'll watch other stuff where I go into more important things than just Manchester United, which is important to me because for my, my stress and how I get rid of it, that's like watching them play. Even though when they lose, it's still cathartic for me. Um, and I've been a fan since I was young and been around for a long time, seen a lot of things. I had to do a lot to be able to see Manchester United when, I, when I'm in the United States. Um, I've been, when I was stationed in England, I got to go see them several times. Uh, whenever they come to the States, I see them. Um, I don't come as a normal American person when it comes to Manchester United. I know quite a bit about the future or their past. Um, and I understand why people are upset that the Galatians are still in charge. And I understand all of the concerns that you had. All uh, the point I ever made in that last video was that Mark is just saying things are not factually truth. So this video is about uh, the possibility of loaning out Palestri again. And as somebody who's been around for a while, when I look at Palestri, I think about uh, Proborski, that type of player. Uh, we don't have that really in our team. As much as we like Anthony, and, and when he's in the teams, we're probably a better team with him. Both Anthony and Marcus does not really look, they don't have their hand up to pass too much. Sometimes they do, and when they do, all of a sudden, great things happen. There was a great assist he had to, to Delo last year that Delo, Delo uh, made a goal from. But most guys are trying to score. Uh, they're going in the middle, mid, midfield. They're going into the midfield with the ball. Uh, if you're going to use uh, Hoyland, uh, and great, we're going to be fast, uh, especially on the break. We're going we're to be electric. We are. We're going to be. Uh, the question is whether we can actually do anything about it because our problem has been that we don't always convert our chances. But if you're going to have a six six foot three striker that has pace to burn, you have to feed him. And as 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 great as these guys think they are, Marcus or Anthony, uh, I, I just I think that Palestri has to be in this team because I think he's um, not as selfish as his other players are. Um, the game has changed so much over the years. You know, I'm, I'm worth of I'm used to a four four two. Um, and wingers bombing down and putting scrosses into the to box. You don't see that anymore. And it's almost like the the, pop, the top three are basically strikers in their own mind, and they think they could take on three different players to get in a shot off. And sometimes that works. Um, but Marcus is not at the same level <laughs> as Messi with the ball at his feet. He just isn't. He's okay. He's probably above average. Uh, but his whole thing has been pace, um, and it's always been that. And when that, the thing is, when he loses the pace, and he will as you get older, he has to um, develop other things. His first touch has to be better, uh, and they all have that as well. Um, there, are, you know, the last game against Dortmund, there was Dortmund. There was several ter uh, times there that Rashford either didn't have a good first touch, or when he got it open with the ball at his feet, he didn't make the next pass. And I think that what Ten Hag was talking about at the end of that game, because you, you know, all of a sudden he puts basically the, the first team in there. And it's two, I think it's 2-1 at that point. It might be 2-2. Two, two. And you think we're going to win this game. But he was right. There were way too many players that were playing individually there. And Marcus was definitely 
one of those people that did that. And again, we have this issue with Marcus, and I don't want to go into it right now. This this video is supposed to about, be about palestry. I do not want him to go alone. Unless, unless he's going to go someplace that he's going to actually be ready the next year or... Uh, he's he's not 20 anymore. <laughs> he needs to be he needs to be knocking on first team football, and every time he's out there on the field, he looks like he's he has, he's he's united quality. He really is, and I don't understand why we we would ship him out on loan when we have somebody like Sancho has not really proven it. Now, chance to have good um, episodes last year against Liverpool, and he had flashes of brilliant brilliance uh, but he I just Palestri is somebody that's gonna, always going to be six six or seven on every game and in some games it's going to be eight or above that and I just I don't he has he, when you look at everybody else on the team other than Martial when he's fit there's nobody else that can hold the ball with his feet while he's going forward that at the same level as him um, sometimes Shaw's good there and so is Juan, Juan Masaka but really there's nobody else in the team. Uh, that when they're actually being pressured, they can get around it and make a pass and get out of that and then get us on an attack, on an attack. And he needs to be playing with the first team so he'll get better, they'll get better, and we'll actually have a real um, strike force. Now somebody on Twitter said, who do you think um, our, our top three should be or the front three should be? And I, but I will tell you what, and I know that I'm going to be at the minority of this, but I would have Garnacho, Palestri, and uh, Hoyland. I, I, and at the end of the game, obviously it wouldn't be every, na every game, but I think as far as speed and pace and youth, and I just I think that that team would be, I would, that would be unbel unbelievable. They'd have to have the right uh, midfielder around them. Um, but I just think that the, people forget there was a time that we weren't that good. Well, we were good in, in, in the mid-2000s. And then all of a sudden, we uh, Ferguson changed the team a little bit. And then we became just unbelievable on the break. And I just I think that those players have that ability. And if we just decide we're going to get rid of Palestri and put him on loan, and if the case, if, it has to go to a real team, okay? There's nothing against... Uh, the Brazilian league, but it's not real. He might as well go to MLS. I mean, at, at point, at the, as, at that point. So, um, I support the fan, the, the manager. It, unless something is going in the back, if something is going in the back, you know, on the back scenes or something about him, I don't understand why he he should be there. He should be either the second or third choice. My <laughs> per. per uh, per preference against the teams that are not in the top six, I think he should start. And I, again, I, I'm, I'm an old school guy here. I see what I see in him. I see a, a player that will just make everything better. And he's, he's not that selfish. The other players that we have on, on the wings, if we call them wings now, they have issues of being selfish. Um, yes, Anthony has made decent goals from outside the box, but he's not Ronaldo, okay? We allowed Ronaldo to do it because he would get 40 goals a year or 30 goals a year, and he would also set up Rooney and everybody else on the team. He's not really doing that. Uh, and I guess he should have another couple of years to, to bet in a little bit. Um, and I like other parts of his game, but I like Palestri better. And so I'm going to stop right here. Let me know what you think about what our top, our front three should be. Again, I've... I'm going to be on a, on a, probably up on a limb by myself, but for me, it would be Hoyland and then Carnacho and Palestri. And um, I just think that that's, I want to go back to when we, we were so, so young, so fast, so pacey, might lose some games, uh, but we knew where we're going. And I, 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 I get it. Ten Hag has got a different way of playing. But I think that would be a better team. Overall, I think in the long run, because I don't know that Marcus is going to do what he did last year. I just hope if he's going to start him, because he is a threat and everybody knows he's a threat, the man has just got to improve, have his head up. He did it when he was young, 
when I say young, but early in the team, in team, he realized he wasn't the star of the team, so he actually passed the ball more. Now that he thinks he has to score, he doesn't really do it. And it's great when he goes through three guys and he scores. But we have we we create so many chances, and we're not doing what we need to do. And a lot of that is based on either the manager or the players themselves. And I I think everything that Ten Hag said after the Dortmund game was 100% true. Um, we I don't say in the back four were being individually uh, that way, but the midfield and, and, the, and the, attack, the attack was clearly all about themselves. And I don't, who are they trying to impress? These guys are already part of the, possibly the starting team that's going to be our first game against the Wolves. But again, tell, uh, let me know what you think in the, in the comments. Tell me I'm just an old stupid man and I don't know what I'm talking about. But I, personally, I just, I think that would be the way to go. And I think it's going to be that way eventually. <laughs> um, we'll see what happens with Marcus this year. Uh, I would love it if he gets another 30 years, uh, 30 goals, but I I don't know. We'll see. Again, let me know in the comments, and we'll talk about it there. And again, thank you for subscribing for those who have. And again, my, my um, criticism of Mark was not personal at all. It was just at some point he needs to be called out sometimes, and everybody needs to. You guys have a good day, and we'll talk to you there.